What up, it's Rob here from Cannabis Lifestyle TV, and today we're gonna be reviewing Grease Monkey from Exotic Genetics. So, I ended up picking Grease Monkey up from Lip Provisioning Center over in Eppart, Michigan, on my way home from a little mini vacation. Definitely check that place out. You guys are real educated, definitely know what they're talking about, and got a great selection and awesome prices too. Better than what we got over here on the west side of the state. When I walked in, I noticed right off the jump, you know, Exotic Genetics, that's a company that I know and I respect, and I know, you know, Mike really puts in the work to come up with genetics that kind of are next level. So when I saw Grease Monkey was in, I had to, to grab it up. So I picked up a Z there. Again, good good ticket, especially for the quality of what we uh, we were seeing. So right away, what got me is the trichobes on this shit. That'd be just insane. The parents are Gorilla Glue number four and Cookies and Cream from Exotic Genetics. So right away you know it's going to just be loaded up with those trichomes and and looks really is what kind of gets you first bag appeal is key right away but the smell really doesn't necessarily translate the look doesn't necessarily go over into the smell like you don't really have that super loud at least with this particular phenotype grown this particular way doesn't have that super loud terp that i was anticipating it's more of the, the what i call instagram weed it just has that insane appeal like the bag appeal is nuts but when you smoke it it really is a little bit lackluster you know and i can't say it's bad by any beats but it's just something that as as i smoke it i'm anticipating something crazy something real different something exotic and this one in particular is just more mild doesn't really have the skunky fuel notes that it's known to have and it doesn't really have much of that gorilla glue flavor but it's got this smooth, almost creamy, I wouldn't say milky, but vanilla-ish kind of flavor to it. That It's definitely nice, and to each his own. Some people really love that pheno, or that uh, that terpene from this pheno, but me personally, I'm more into that gas, that, that super strong pack. So again, relating back to the parents, uh, Gorilla Glue number four and, well, Gorilla Glue and Cookies and Cream. This seems to take a little bit more of the Cookies and Cream on, in my opinion. Or it, it kind of reminds me a little of the Kimbo Kush as well from Exotic Genetics, where it's just insane trichomes, probably an insane rosin producer. This strain definitely has a, a good kind of sedative effect. If you're dealing with anxiety or stress, it's definitely one that I feel like will help you, you know, kind of cope with that. Or if you're having any eating disorders or if you're struggling with sleep, it's definitely something that I've noticed has got that sedative effect, slows you down, gives you more of that relaxation. But at the same time, I guess, depending on the person, for me, I get a little bit more focused, a little bit more dialed in. So I guess the medicinal effect could be more in the realm of someone dealing with maybe an ADHD or, you know, some sort of attention deficit problem. It, it focuses you in a little bit better. So for me, I would probably be keeping this around as a mixer. Like, I really like, you know, the homie Trey is always about mixing his blunts up. He's got something with a little bit more terp, as where there's another thing that may not have as much, but it's hitting all the other areas. This is one that I feel like the medical effect, the recreational effect, it definitely hits in. It just doesn't necessarily fit there with the chronic suicide of the, the terpenes and the flavonoids and things that, that really, for me, would be a keeper. But it's one of the smokes that I feel like everybody should check out at one point, because it's like, I wanted to take a million pictures of it. Just looking at those trichomes, breaking open those buds, seeing the insane resin production, it's just like, whew, next level. Now, well, it doesn't necessarily have the super spicy terp, the super loud terp. It's definitely expansive in the lungs. As I smoke it, it definitely has a good pull to it. Kind of waters the eyes a little bit. It's an enjoyable smoke overall. It's just something that you kind of got to have a preference for something like this. For myself, I really like flower. It's just really not a strain for me that that hits all of the areas. You know, it's just for bag appeal. This is one that I would consider you know top three period the only one above it maybe would be the kimbo from exotic but it really doesn't hit it for the stirps for me it just doesn't have the, the flavonoids it doesn't have the things that that hit home there you have it grease bucky this particular fido at least uh shout out to exotic genetics big shout out to lip provisioning center over in everhart again like i said dudes are doing it right of all the dispensaries i've seen in the michigan area they're definitely in the top five and for being in an area that they're at is you know definitely stands out for sure if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit like subscribe and check out our website cannabislifestyletv.com this is rob from cannabis lifestyle stay lifted